today my task is to test some antennas, uh, magnetic mount antennas, using a, uh, an Anritsu. Uh, most people would use a uh, two-way radio, transmit and uh, measure the reflected power, trim the antenna and uh, keep trimming until the antenna is uh, properly tuned for minimum SWR. But since I have so many antennas to, to test, uh, I had a bigger pile, magnetic mount, an old used for rental. I thought uh, I want to use uh, something faster. And um, so what I'm using right here, it's a big metal ground plane. It's a huge, like a, almost two meter by uh, a meter. I could say heavy uh, steel plate. I'm using it as a ground plane. And I stuck the magnetic mount antenna on, on, on top of it, somewhere in the center. And I was supposed to be at least uh, three feet away for, VA, uh, for UHF frequency, three feet away clearance, uh, and about six for VHF. But for a basic test, I uh, have enough clearance right here. So what I did right here, because I'm testing in a VHF, I, uh, I entered the uh, start frequency 140 megahertz. I could go 137, that's the North American uh, bottom part of the VHF uh, standard, v VHF band, and um, I could go 173. But I have some antennas that are tuned for 180 for some reason. I don't know if someone cut it wrong. So I went to 230, 230 megahertz stop frequencies. And um, I calibrated, I calibrated um, using a calibration device that came with uh, this Anritsu and uh, so now since I am calibrated I do auto scale and I do I'm selecting measurements I want to see cable loss and it shows me something weird right here which is 0.6 dB on a VHF scale on 200 something for some reason I don't know why it shows I am supposed to see a, a straight line. Let me do auto scale. Yeah, for some reason uh, it drops to 0.6 dB loss. Uh, let me do auto uh, calibration again. So calibrate, start calibration. I have the other, the T. But um, this is faster. This uh, type of device is faster to calibrate the Anritsu. It does everything automatically. Yeah, for some reason it shows this bump in here. I don't know. So everything is tight unless, unless the... Yeah, the connectors are tight. Yeah, in any case, I'll uh, keep going with uh, this type of measurement. So what I did, I connected uh, that antenna through an adapter. And the adapter is uh, in, inside is gold plated, something like that. So it's a, it's a pretty decent quality. And I'm looking at the VSWR. And um, I'm going to marker, and I'm going to marker number one is uh, 1.17, the bottom, the, the best VSWR, the minimum. And the frequency is at 148. So that's the, the tuning frequency for that antenna, uh, for this specific size ground plane. If I, if I use a smaller ground plane, uh, the tuning would be different, this different frequency, like higher frequency, yes? So the bigger the better, but of course there is a, a size limit. After that, you won't see a change in the frequency. Uh, I mean a tuning frequency. So that's the idea. I have my, uh, my antenna tuned for 148. And uh, I'm going to the next antenna. Now, this antenna, 